Uh, hello, uh, my name is Thomas Bachelot. I'm the head of uh, UCBG, that is the uh, French Cancer uh, Breast Cancer Intergroup. Uh, our main uh, actuality at ASCO this year was an oral presentation from François Clément Bidard that presented the uh, pronostic impact of ESR1 mutation uh, at diagnosis of patients uh, with first line treatment for anteromatous plus palbocyclid. Uh, this is an exploratory, exploratory analysis uh, from the Padawan study. The Padawan trial is a big trial with 1,000 patients uh, that, um, uh, that are all treated with letrozole plus palbocyclid. And we make an analysis of uh, ctDNA uh, looking at ESR1 mutation during the treatment. And uh, the aim is to change treatment to Fasodex plus palbocyclid if there is an arising, if there is a rise in a, in a ESR1 mutation. So this uh, is a primary, primary endpoint, it is not reached yet. Uh, this analysis uh, was exploratory on the patients that had uh, ESR1 mutation at the diagnosis of a metastatic disease. Um, so this is, uh, this is a small population, we didn't know how many we'll have actually, we are the first one to publish this kind of data. And we found some ESR1 mutation uh, for those patients that are supposed to be sensitive to anti-aromatase inhibitors in 3.2% uh, 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 of the patients, sorry, 3 on 1,000. This uh, prevalence was higher for patients with, uh, which had previously received aromatase inhibitor in the adjuvant setting. In those cases, it was 7.1%. Uh, surprisingly, uh, the prognosis of those patients was not that bad. It was worse than for the patient with no mutation detected, but it was not that bad. It was a uh, median PFS of 11 months uh, versus 26 months for a patient uh, with no mutation at diagnosis. 11 months is almost what you can expect for those patients with uh, only letrozole. And uh, then, um, most surprisingly, uh, in, for two-thirds of the patients, uh, the treatment allowed for a total uh, clearance uh, of uh, their blood from any ctDNA. We did not find any more uh, uh, mutational uh, ESR1 in their blood after one month of treatment. Uh, for those patients that did have a clearance of ESR1 mutation, the, the time to progression, the PFS, progression free survival, excuse me, was uh, of 24 months. On the other hand, it was only 7.4 months for the patients that did not uh, have a clearance of, a CT, uh, of a ESR1 mutation in their uh, ctDNA. Uh, yeah, so those results are quite uh, interesting and very original and could, be, could have important implications for, uh, for treatment strategies for those patients. Uh, thank you for the attention. I should uh, remind to, to thank uh, to all the patients that have participated uh, to this uh, study and uh, all the uh, investigators. Uh, thanks a lot.